Hey, welcome back to the eDrum Workshop. I'm Luke and I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to address something that comes up quite regularly when I post videos where I'm playing on my kit. That Yamaha pad that I'm using as a hi-hat and general Yamaha symbol compatibility on Roland modules. This often causes a lot of confusion and although it's been covered on other channels and various times on groups and forums, I get asked enough that I felt like it warranted an explanation. I'm going to be using the latest generation of Roland modules, the TD-17, the 27 and the 50, as my reference points for compatibility along with the one Yamaha symbol pad that I own. If you go way back to some older modules or variations of the pads, there could be a chance that there are some differences in compatibility. I can't be 100% sure as I don't have access to those modules or pads, but it should apply to Yamaha symbols and Roland modules from the last decade at least, I believe. So is this a Yamaha hi-hat and does it work properly on a Roland module? Well, technically speaking, no, this is not a Yamaha hi-hat. It's a Yamaha PCY135 pad, which is their standard 3 zone 13 inch cymbal pad and I happen to use it as a hi-hat pad with a Roland hi-hat controller. Yamaha's hi-hat pedals and controllers either don't work or at least don't work properly on Roland modules as far as I'm aware. So stick to Roland pedals or hi-hat controllers or something that's designed to be compatible like the Goe drum hi-hat controller. I usually use the Roland FD7 pedal or sometimes I'll stick it on a stand with a Goe drum hi-hat controller and when I've not got it on a regular hi-hat stand I've got it mounted with a Natal X-hat stand. I just kind of like the visual of having the hi-hat clutch despite not actually needing it. The PCY135 pad works really well on Roland modules, however it will only be a two-zone symbol. The way that Yamaha 3-zone pads work is different to Roland's. Yamaha only use one single TRS cable for all three zones, whereas Roland use two cables for theirs. The pad internals aren't too different, a piezo, an edge switch and a bell switch, but Yamaha use a resistor to differentiate which switch is being hit, whereas Roland use the wiring for the second output jack for the bell signal. Because of this, Roland can't read the difference between the switches on the Yamaha pad, meaning that you'll only get two zones from the symbol, the bow and the edge. And in fact, when you hit the bell zone on this pad when it's hooked up to a Roland module, it will actually play the edge zone sample, because there is still a switch in the circuit closing, but the Roland module can't differentiate or ignore it. For me personally this typically isn't an issue but it's something that you might keep in mind if you wanted to do this. Besides that one quirk, Yamaha cymbal pads do work well with Roland modules as a two zone cymbal pad as long as you're using an appropriate cymbal trigger setting. Either a CY12C or a CY14C setting should work fine. Though another thing to keep in mind is that Yamaha pads in general don't output as hot as Roland pads, so they usually need the sensitivity boosting. There is a gain screw on the bottom of the pad that you can turn up to increase the signal so that you don't have to crank it too much on the module, but you'll likely still need a higher sensitivity than Roland symbols. There is a slight hotspot on mine too, but it's not too severe, so it doesn't really cause me many problems. As far as I'm aware, the other three zone Yamaha symbols like the PCY155 are made the same way so they should also work fine, but again with the same two zone limitations. There are some conversion cables available that can combine your Roland symbols to outputs into a single cable for use on modules that support three zones over one cable, but I've not seen anything for the other way round. However, if I've missed something that is available, let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please pop a like on it, subscribe to the channel for more eDrum related content content and check out the eDrumworkshop.com for new kits and samples for your module. There'll be some new kits going up pretty soon. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!